Hello, math friends. Are you enjoying this unit? Today we're going to work on Unit 2, Module 1, Session 3. How many more? How many fewer? Our learning target, I can solve one-step addition and subtraction story problems with sums to 100. Today we're going to continue to estimate, count, and compare beans. But today we're going to try to get 50. Then we're going to do a page in our workbook. Materials you might use today include a whiteboard and marker, your student book, and some sort of counting medium, whether it be beans, Cheerios, candy corn, beads, or something else that you have at home, along with some bowls. Today we're going to try to scoop 50 beans from a container. You will then count them by putting them into cups. How many beans go in each white cup? That's right, 10. And how many cups do we need to have 50 beans? Great job. We will need five cups. Here is what I scooped. Now let's count them into groups of 10. Here's what I have. Did we scoop more than 50 beans? Less than 50 beans? Or exactly 50 beans? Write it on your whiteboard. How do you know? That's right, it's more than 50 because you have six cups there. And with 10 in each cup, that's 60. And then there's some extra ones. Exactly, if we had five cups and no extras, that would be 50 because 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. All right, I need you to open up your student books now. Turn to page 11. We're gonna use my beans to fill out number one. I actually got 63, so six cups and three beans left over. So how many beans in all? 63. So I have to circle which sentence that is true. I have more than 50 beans or I have fewer than 50 beans. 63 is more than 50 beans. Now it asks how many more. To do this, I have to write a subtraction problem. How many beans must you take away to get 50? I'm going to start with 63, and then I'm going to count how many beans I have to take away so that I will have 50. I had to take away 13 beans to get 50. I don't have fewer than 63, so I won't complete the second side. All right, now it's your turn. You are going to work with your partner in a breakout room and each of you will scoop and count. Then you're going to combine your cups and leftover beans together. Some questions before we begin. First, count out 10 beans in a cup. This will help you to get an idea of what 50 will look like. Some questions. What if my partner and I both get really lucky and we each scoop exactly 50 beans? Hmm. How many would we have if we put them together? What if I scooped 50 and my partner scooped 54? How many would we have in all? What if I scooped more than 50 and my partner scooped less? Hmm. If I scoop 48 beans, how many would my partner need to equal 100? All right, my friends, on page 11, in the breakout rooms, you are each going to scoop out 50 beans, then count them with your cups. Share with your partners what you've collected and fill in the record sheet. Then combine your beans, beans together or whatever medium you were using to count. Count them with the cups and fill out your record sheet. All right, my friends, when you have finished, you're going to work independently on page 12 and 13. You may do this during your asynchronous time. You're going to take a look at page 12 and let's look at number one. Here you will see that there are 34 tennis balls. I have three buckets that are 10 each, so 10, 20, 30, and then I have four extra balls, 34. You're going to solve to see how many more to make 40. There is a problem like this at the end of every row where you have to figure out how many more or how many fewer tennis balls it would take to make a particular number. How might you solve these problems? 
Yes, I see many of you that count up and count down. Another idea would be that sometimes the numbers are easy. Like if you have 23 balls, it's easy to know that you would just take away 3 to make 20 because 20 and 3 is 23. Yep, that's right. You can add or subtract. Yep, I heard someone else say that you can see another way too. You can use the numbers at the bottom. You just find the number that you, are, you have and what you're supposed to make and count the boxes. So you see this chart at the bottom of my page? It's a like a hundreds chart, but we're going to go all the way up to 130. So you're going to continue to work on both pages. All right, my friends, at the end of the day, we will do some workplaces.